Hello again, everyone. I'm going to be doing a little work on the 66 Mustang Fastback today. We've got a rear cover that's leaking. Not leaking real bad, but when the car set over the winter, had a little puddle on the floor where it set at, so we're going to try to put a new gasket on it, take care of that leak. Have it pulled in here on the lift and have the lift arms all set so we're ready to raise it up and get to work. <clears throat> Here's our culprit. You can see we've got some fluid there that's leaked out. Spraying some brake cleaner, get it all cleaned off. Uh, rear cover still looks pretty good, but just a little edge of it there. All right, got her all dried off. But I was noticing it looked kind of wet right up in here. So I'm wondering if maybe the seal's leaking. Kind of hard to tell until you get out take it out and drive it and look at it see if it's got an obvious drip that's coming out of the seal that could be the problem while I'm into this I may get a new seal for it along with the, putting a new gasket on the rear cover okay got the bolts all removed most of them I left one here in the very top but it's loose and I've loosened all of the bottom bolts and I'll just prise the cover loose and let the oil out slowly. Try to catch it, keep from making too big of a mess. Okay, we've got all the bolts out. We're paying back here to catch what comes out. I don't think there's a lot left, but we'll see. Not very little. Cover's really clean on the inside. And we'll let that drip. I believe you could leave the pan under for a day or two and it would still drip, so we'll just leave that there for now. Cover looked like it was sealed okay, so I don't think anything was coming out of it. And while I prepare, for, while I'm waiting for the pinion seal to get here, I'll go ahead and get this cleaned off. I didn't use a gasket on this the last time with an RTV, it's called a gasket maker. And I think it done a great job, but we're gonna put a gasket back on it when we put it back together this time. There's our new gasket. And we got some Lucas Oil, gear oil to put back in it. But just using this razor blade scraper. And we'll get this cleaned off. Now we're going to take a wire brush and go over it one more time. That should give us a good surface there for the gasket. I think that's good enough on the cover. Alright, let's get the drive shaft out. We got half inch nuts here on the little U bolts that hold the drive shaft against the yoke.
too tight of quarters to get the socket in here. Now you just got to use a boxed in wrench. And I'm going to just try to tie this up to keep from having to pull it out of the transmission. I think this will work. Just put a rubber strap and got her tied out of the way. So now we'll take this pinion nut off and see how hard this yoke is going to be to get out. Nuts loose. Uh, did have to use a strong arm and a piece of pipe because that thing is torqued really, really tight. Just got a pipe wrench here on the center chunk that holds it down against the housing. Okay, nuts off. And it is a one and one sixteenth inch used to impact socket. A six point socket that way it wouldn't round the edges of the nut off. Okay. Wasn't too bad. Just had to tighten the puller just a little and it just slid right off. So now we'll get that old seal out. Well, I was going to video me taking the seal out. Thought, well, I'll loosen it just a little and then video me popping it the rest of the way out. But I just barely tapped on it and it flew across the room on the floor. So anyway, it's out. And there's our new pinion seal. Went to O'Reilly's, five dollars and seventy-nine cents. And brought the other one just to make sure, but it's it's a correct seal. New seal. And just do a little test fit. And it fits good and tight. So before we put it in, put just a little bit of grease. Just a little grease around the... One interesting thing I found in researching this seal, that 3604, that's a pretty common number used by several manufacturers. So let's put it in. First we'll wipe out around where the old seal was. And that's torqued to 115 pounds. Okay, time to put the drive shaft back.
Alrighty, front end finished. And like I mentioned before, we're still dripping a little. I took the pan away. See, we got a drop right there. So, oh, I need to clean this off too before we put the cover back on. So, I'm gonna let this let this drain a little bit more. Probably wait till tomorrow now to come back and scrape that off and put the put the gasket and the pan back on the rear end, and we'll fill it up with oil and should be finished. All right, day two, we're ready to put the cover back on and put the oil in. It's dripped all, it's gonna drip. I've cleaned it off and we're ready for the gasket. And we're going to torque these to 15 pounds. Now we'll get the brake line routed here on top of that and underneath that. And should be ready for oil now. And here's the oil we'll be using. Have two quarts. Using Lucas Oil products. Pretty, <clears throat> pretty cold here in the building today, so this is really thick. Going in slow, but it'll it'll hold itself between the muffler and the drive shaft, so we'll just let it come out on its own, let gravity take over. Help it a little bit along the way. Well, we're filled up with oil. Got the cap tightened back down. So I think we're ready to let her down off the lift. Hopefully that will take care of our rear end leak. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the video on replacing a Ford pinion seal and rear cover gasket. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Hey, if you like this video, we have many more on our channel, so why not consider subscribing? Thanks.